Hunter and I were in Sunbury, North Carolina. We're down here where the uh, Atlantic Coast Line Railroad used to run through. And it's in a swamp. They used to come through this swamp. They had a railroad trussle. It was a trussle across there, the water. And Hunter, if you point your corner that direction right there, you can see the hill right there that the railroad ran on. Straight on through, it went on into Edenton, the best I can remember, or they've been told. And uh, they also, there was a railroad depot in Roduca, North Carolina. And uh, my father, Fred Blanchard, and I went there when I was like eight or nine years old, or maybe even younger than that, and got our first swimming pool from Sears and Roebuck that the train brought into that depot in Roduca. So that's a pretty cool fact about uh, Gates County. And uh, there used to be a wall crossed in here, but it's uh, demolished now. It's been gone for many years now. But, uh, well, I was thinking I believe... that I was thinking that fell in the water like a you know when that hurricane came it. It pushed the rest of it right in the water. Probably pushed the rest of it, you're exactly right. Uh, and I think, if I remember correctly, I was working for DOT in Gatesville. And uh, in Roduca, where the depot was, the, home, the uh, railroad depot, they had train cars that came in there, uh, pulled in there by a train that were loaded with rock. And they had a drag line down there that unloaded the rock into our dump trucks, and we carried it to the Gatesville Maintenance Yard, and that was probably in about uh, 75, 76, somewhere along in there, 1975, 76. Okay, it's a pretty cool note uh, there, but anyway, we'll, uh, I'll get back with you in a few minutes let you know some more. Till then. Okay, uh, Hunter, if you point over in that direction, that looks like an old railroad cart, I would say, with the iron wheels on it, There's only one wheel on it now been abandoned for many many years but that's what it looks like is an old railroad cart okay uh, Hunter and I are going to head on out of here now and uh, we're going to climb back up there where the train ran it's, uh, it's a hill I guess it's the train's driveway sort of like but we're going to head up on that hill right there and head back out of here and again this is uh, Earl Blanchard and on a trip to the railroad. Okay, uh, Hunter and I have run across a piece of coal. Uh, my guess is the railroad that came through here had boxcars on it loaded with coal. And maybe something fell off on the side or something. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. Alright, we we'll found another piece of this railroad here. It's part of the railroad there. Or oh, part of the track. Sorry, part of the track. It's just stuck in the ground. Alright, this is one of the biggest tree we saw out here. Papa, stand by see how it is to the to human body. That's crazy, it's like this, the size, the size of, to compare to a human body. Alright, we stumbled across the old barn. I don't know if it's part of the railroad or not. But definitely broken inside. Okay, um, I've taken a couple of pictures here and printed them on the printer. Uh, the ACL, which stands for Atlantic. Coastline Railroad ran through 
Thunberry, Roduca, and that area there. And I believe it stopped in 1979. So these are pictures at Roduca, North Carolina, that are pictures of the train depot. My father and I, Fred Blanchard and I, we went there years ago when I was just a young, young person to the depot and waited for the train to get there and they delivered a swimming pool from Sears and Roebuck on the train to us. Okay, our next adventure, Hunter Blanchard and I, is going to be right over there in that graveyard. There's some graves that date way back. Right. It's going to be soon. Like 17, 18 during World War? In the 1800s and somewhere along in there, probably. 